The Rangers are super important in Guild of Guardians because they are the best damage dealer of the game. They can push a huge amount of physical damage with their Rig attack and attack speed. Although they are the most squishy class inside the game, so you want to put them in the back of your team with their long range and defend them very well. So they are super important in your team. But what are the best Rangers in the game? Well, in today's video I will show you the best 5 Rangers in Guild of Guardians and I will even give away one of them. If you want to enter inside the giveaway and win a free guardian it's super easy, just drop a like, a comment and activate the notification bell so that you will not miss my future videos and giveaways. And now let's jump into the 5 best ranger in Guild of Guardians. Starting from the bottom of our top 5 we have Farah, that is an epic guardian from the founder set and is a ranger from the Terra domain. So a really good thing is that it is Terra because Terra is actually lacking a lot in damage. Terra domain has a bunch of good healer like for example with Flix or even tank with Freya but they have not a lot of damage dealer so Farah can be good for that. Actually she even push a really solid amount of damage through their skill because they apply a lot of poison so even if you have like a bunch of poison mechanics this guardian works super well with those. So since it is an epic it will have three skill of which the first one is Poison Spore, that is the ultimate and is an AoE. Essentially, Farah will deal 170% up to 230% of the attack as physical damage, so a really solid amount to everyone. And other than that, it will make even an additional damage of 50% as physical damage for each poison spore on the enemy and we will see later how it actually applied those poison spore but still this is a really amazing ulti is a lot of damage 230% to everyone plus 50% for every stack on them so it's actually a really really solid ulti the second skill is poison arrow where essentially she targeted the nearest enemy and will deal 220% of the attack as physical damage and will even attack poison spore on them for 9 seconds so already there we see how she actually put those stack on them so already the skill will put the stack on top of the fact that already buffed the ultimate it will even make 30% of the attack as physical damage every 3 seconds so it even continue to make other damage so it's actually a lot really really crazy amount of damage although this one is single target and it target the nearest enemy so most of the time is a tank this is why it's a kind of decent skill but it's nothing amazing the ultimate is a lot better because it literally makes the damage on everyone the last skill is a passive and is corrupting spore essentially every time a guardian dies a random enemy will gain poison spore so essentially it's the poison is a pretty decent passive because it's stuck even with the other skills with this endless gear it becomes a lot better because essentially each poison spore we reduce the enemy's current energy of 120 so so every time you stack a poison on the enemy you will even remove 120 of energy that is actually really really a lot and is actually even thanks to this gear that farah made the cut to the top 5 ranger in guild of guardian but now let's go on the number 4 that is atticus is actually a ranger known from everyone because he's one of the best free to play player rangers is from cinder so if you are building a cinder team and you're a free to play player you for sure want atticus your team because it can really be the carry of your team even more with this ultimate that makes a huge amount of damage and that ultimate is an AoE and is bombs away essentially Atticus will fall back will jump back and will throw five bombs at random enemies dealing 100% of the attack as physical damage with each bomb this means five bomb is 500% of the attack as physic damage this is a huge amount of damage and this is why even a combo really used for the free to play players is to utilize Grizzle on Atticus or try to ultimate as many times as possible because this ultimate is probably one if not the best ultimate of the free to play player guardians. The second skill is small screen, essentially Atticus will create a zone of up to 10 seconds around the closest frontline ally so essentially on your team on your frontliners and all the ally inside it will have their evasion increased by 50 percent it's nothing amazing but it's actually really really juicy because this will make your tank in the frontline a lot harder to kill because they will dodge a lot of attacks the third skill is landmine that is actually a cc where atticus at the start of the battle will throw a lot of mine and when a mine is triggered because they just go on the floor when they are triggered it will explode making almost 500% of the attack as physical damage so another time a huge amount of damage 
and even stunning from 3 seconds. If you read this effect, is literally amazing because you put a lot of mine that make 400% of damage and even even stunning your opponent. But in the real life, not a lot of those mine will be proced. Actually, it's a bit hard that they get proced, but even if one or two gets proced, it's still a pretty, pretty solid skill. The only thing I don't like of this skill is like, for example, in Endless or Adventure, if you have your energy for do the ultimate, you still have to wait the animation of landmine that it throw the mine and it's like one, two, three, second that actually just slow you a bit but other than that is still a really really solid skill even because remember guys he is a legendary so you have a skill more compared to the epics and the last skill is a passive and this gambit where essentially the basic attack of atticus will make 170 percent of attack and even a little possibility of causing a knowback the possibility of a knowback is not that huge so i wouldn't even matter but still 170 percent of the damage on each attack is pretty solid even because remember guys in all of this guardian you gotta build full attack because those are dps those are your carry you in every of those guardian you want to build a lot of attack almost a double of the attack and all the skill that scale a lot of the attack is really good and this is even why i like this gear from endless for atticus where essentially every mine triggered will increase of 20 percent the atticus attack so as i said generally you proc one or two so this means that this gear will give like 20 or 40 percent of bonus in attack to a guardian that is focused on attack so is actually really really strong and in top three with the bronze we have rufus that is actually the only legendary founder of this list because actually there are not a lot of ranger and the only one that there is is not even that good to be honest for be a founder i mean it's still better than other rangers because he's a legendary and he's a founder but is kinda not that good compared to all the other founders and this is why we'll be top 3 and not top 1. So Rufus is a ranger from Idris and if you remember we know a really really good ranger from Idris that actually will be later in this list and if you are a smart you can already see her in my page but other than that I mean still Rufus is really solid, he has his endless gear and still push a huge amount of damage with his attack speed and the damage so still he gets his job done. As ultimate he has an AoE that is Hydrobolt, essentially he will shot an arrow in front of him making 360% of the attack as physical damage to the first enemy and then it will go through this arrow and for each enemy hit the damage will decrease for 30%. It's actually a really really solid skill, I mean it makes 360% of the damage that is really a lot as I said all that high scaling of damage on those guardians that are rangers so have a really huge amount of damage really really high damage and to be honest is not hard with this arrow to hit like two three enemy so is actually a pretty solid ulti nothing crazy but still pretty solid the second skill is commanding presence that is actually a support skill so it's pretty weird to have on a carry but if we read that he will increase of 60 percent the attack speed for six seconds of all the allies so this is actually a support skill because you help the other but is a huge amount of damage this is the best skill of rufus totally because 60% of attack speed to all your team is amazing. For 6 seconds is really long actually. And on top of that, the next basic attack cannot even miss. I mean, the second part is not huge, but 60% of attack speed, trust me guys, is literally amazing to all the team. This skill is amazing, another time. <laughs> And the only thing that even can make it better is the Endless Gear. Because essentially when Commander Presence will be active, so those 6 seconds, your Guardian will even get 20% of lifesteal. This is amazing, everyone is making 60% faster attacks and even getting the lifesteal. This is really really good and probably this is even why I put Rufus top 3 and not even lower than Atticus. In those lists I still keep in mind even a bit the prices, so if there are 2 Guardian that are really really near in the power but one costs 100 bucks and one cost like five bucks i will for sure put Iger the one of five bucks the third skill is swift shot essentially rufus will fire three quick shot at the further enemy so most of the time to a carry like a mage and a ranger this is really good to make damage in the back row and the first two shot will deal 75 percent of the attack as physical damage and the last of the shot will make instead 230 percent of the attack to be honest this skill is pretty solid nothing crazy because it's single target so it doesn't make a lot of damage to all the opponent team still the fact that it is a lot of damage because 230 percent plus 75 and 75 so almost 400 percent of the attack and it focus the further enemy so a carry make this skill actually pretty 
pretty good because you can literally try to kill a carry thanks to this skill and that would be really good the last skill is a passive and this nimble wings where essentially every eight second rufus will ignore a single instance of direct damage to be honest this skill is nothing amazing this passive i mean it can be really really great if for example you dodge a huge amount of damage like a ultimate most of the time you will just dodge like a simple basic attack so i really don't love this passive and this is why he is even top 3 and not Iger. Because Iger, we have Aurora, that is a ranger from Umbrus, and this from the eSport Guardian set. It's probably one of the few Guardian I put in all these top 5, top 6 from the eSport set, because the majority of those Guardian are not really amazing, even compared to the price, that is like around 50 bucks for the majority of them, doesn't make a lot of sense to buy them, in my opinion, when instead Aurora is really really good and it's not first just because first the rest to be air the one we all know but still aurora is really amazing if you're like building an umbrus team this can be a good guardian to buy for make it your carry because she actually push a huge amount of damage and most of that damage comes from her amazing ultimate that is an aoe even support and is cleansing flames that essentially will create a huge fireball that will detonate pushing 210 percent of the attack and even cleansing all the ally and guys this one will literally target all your opponent team because the area is huge so the fact that it push a really really solid amount of damage and even cleans all the allies from the debuff make this ultimate really good the second skill is suppressing flames where aurora throw a ball of spiritual energy at the enemy and it will make 330 percent of attack as physical damage so a really huge amount and will even increase the duration of the control effect on the target by 50 percent and the fact that prioritize the enemies under control effect essentially that will kinda always happen so a huge amount of damage and still is like a stun more or actually like making longer your stun so it's really good even this skill the third skill is a super strong cc and is banish essentially aurora target the highest attack enemy so the carry of your opponent team and banish them for 9 seconds, they will be frozen and immune. This skill is amazing. It's literally almost like stunning. I mean, they can't get the damage, but since I guess attack enemy will be their ranger, they will probably get no damage anyway. And the fact that you make for almost 10 seconds their carry useless is huge. This skill is amazing. And remember, Aurora can even combo this banish with this skill and make the banish almost 15 seconds 15 seconds without a carry you probably will lose the game and this is why aurora is really amazing because it combo a solid amount of damage with a lot of cc so the last skill is a passive and this spiritual burden i gotta read this because it's a bit hard to explain essentially aurora basic attack add a stack of spiritual burden to strike the enemies for three seconds and refreshes the duration of existing stacks so essentially if it continue to attack a guardian with stack on them it will just continue to add the stack and even refresh the previous stacks and each stack will reduce the max hp of the opponent up to three percent and can stack up 10 times so it means that if it's stuck at the best it will reduce of 30 percent the max hp of who aurora is attacking making 30 percent of the damage literally just with the passive is a crazy amount most importantly if she's targeting like a tank where they have a lot of health so 30 percent of their health is actually a lot of damage so aurora is really an amazing set of skills make a really solid amount of damage and there's crazy cc effect but then why she is not first well because in top one with the gold medal there has to be there is that it is a ranger from idris and this free to play player is totally free you can farm this one inside the game and it's just crazy the amount of damage that this guardian can do it's literally thanks to this guardian that a lot of free to play players are having good results because literally the Rizda makes all the damage of their team but how she does all that damage well it's actually pretty strange because she doesn't push a lot of damage through their skill through the ulti but literally with basic attacks and endless gear but let's go check those skills so the ultimate is trick shot and essentially it will teleport the Rizda to random allies and while attacking it will make 240 percent of the attack nothing amazing like it's not crazy 240 percent of the attack on basic attacks is actually 
actually pretty much but nothing crazy because still it's a single target attack the only thing that is really good is that it teleports so you can even utilize this skill as defensive for example if an assassin jump on the Rista or someone start to target the Rista you can start to teleport her and she will dodge the damages so this is the good part of this skill is really good even when the opponent remain with not a lot of guardians so because as a single target it makes more damage but when you activate this ulti the passive is not active and actually there is the damage comes almost everything from the passive so i wouldn't activate the ultimate as long as they don't have like two or one guardian for like five four and three i would keep literally not utilize the ulti the second skill is aquasphere essentially there is that will target the densest enemy area dealing 260 percent of attack as physical damage and even reducing the attack speed and movement speed of 50 percent for six seconds to be honest this skill is pretty solid because I mean, it's still an AoE, it's not really big, the area. 26% of damage as AoE and even reduce the attack speed and movement speed. So it's really, really good still. You don't even want to utilize this skill. You just want to utilize the passive that is linear assault. Essentially, there is the basic attack can penetrate through the enemy. So it will literally go through literally all their team if they are like in a row and will make 145% of the attack. Each attack, each base attack will go through a lot of people like three or four guardian, make a huge amount of damage because it's even increased the damage. And keep in consideration, guys, you build on the Rizda just attack. So the fact that every basic attack will go through their team and even be buffed is literally amazing. But the best thing of the Rizda is this endless gear. That essentially, just as an endless gear, will increase of 30% the crit chance. Crazy to have on a ranger because, as I said, they make the damage all with the attack. And having the crit chance 30% just with an endless gear is literally amazing. Even more, if you keep in consideration that all air basic attack will go through like two or three people. So it's literally crazy. And guys, since the Rizda is the best ranger in Guild of Guardian, I will even give away air totally for free. So remember to enter inside the giveaway, dropping a like, a comment, maybe even saying if you would have put someone else or if you would have changed the order and even activating the bell for don't miss any video and future giveaways. If you liked this video about the best ranger, you will for sure enjoy even this video about the best mage in Guild of Guardians. Or try to check this playlist with all the best guardians in each role. And I guess see you to the next video.